Hello and welcome to another 2017-2018 individual Blackburn Rovers player review. In each one of these special one-off videos, we're going to look back on each one of the senior players who pulled on the mighty blue and white this season. We're going to scrutinise their effort and grade their overall performance. And in this episode, we're going to review Danny Graham. <laughs> Big DG was a slow burner this season in front of goal and at some points of the season had me wondering where he wanted to be. At the start of the season, the gaffer decided to strengthen the attacking line by bringing in Dominic Samuel and Marcus Antonsen, two young and pacey forwards who have something to prove to the footballing world. Veteran striker Graham had to set up for a bit part football before things started to get desperate. Samuel and Antonsen were not working out, so DG was thrown back into the lineup and soon regained the goal scoring touch. His pace might be much slower than years past, but his brain is better now than it ever has been. For a striker of his pedigree to be roughing it out in League One, it took some time for his style of play to adapt to the new conditions. Graham used his years of experience, excellent hold-up play, and formed a very tight partnership with Wizard Bradley Dack. DG had found his touch again, scoring vital goals which pushed Rovers towards the top end of the table. Without his knowledge and know-how, we would have had to rely on Antonson and Samuel, who lacked so much compared to the man of Graham's years. I hope the veteran pens a new deal to stay at Rovers next season, as we could do with his experience on the pitch or around the ground to help the Rovers strikers of the future. Season rating, B+. So let's take a look now at Danny Graham's statistics for the season. All in all, he was involved in 53 matches uh, for Rovers this season, scoring 17 goals in the process. He bagged up eight assists. Uh, he chalked up 60% of all possible game time in Rovers this season, only picking up one yellow card, which is good considering how he plays. You know, he plays the dirty man up front, try to hold up play. Uh, 14 times he was substituted on and 23 times he was substituted off. As for League One only, he scored 14 goals this season in 42 games, uh, winning 24 of those, drawing 12 and losing 6, and it equals around about 0.33 goals per game. The big fella uh, chalked up 2,506 minutes of first team action, and his last five results for Rovers looked like this. Three wins, a draw, and a loss. Um, speaking of losses, he's lost twice in the previous 34 games, uh, winning, he's actually gone three games without scoring a goal, but for every uh, uh, Danny Graham was, in, was has scored in 26% of all games he's played. He also was involved in the six-game winning streak for Rovers. He was also involved in those annoying runs with two games without a win, up against two draws, up against Gillingham and Bristol Rovers, and then also that defeat at the start of the season, double back-to-back -back defeats against Southend and Doncaster. He was also involved in that 18-game unbeaten run. He actually scored back-to-back uh, -back on two occasions. Um, and he actually went seven games without scoring a goal. That's the longest run for him this season. There you can have a look at his numbers a little bit more detail. Uh, it looks like this cluster right here was was when he was on on form. Uh, that was around about Christmas time into uh, into New Year's. That's when he really kicked into gear because before that he only, he only bagged a couple of goals. Um, will he be around next season? I bloody well hope so. Well, that's your lot folks if you've enjoyed this review give it a thumbs up and if you are new to the channel hit the subscribe button and also you can join me right back here tomorrow for yet another 2017-2018 individual Blackburn Rovers player review.